Hi and welcome. Um, a few people have been having uh, problems with um, the curves and the rail curves, so I'm just going to show you some methods. This um, model, these curves were created by um, Gav, uh, Gav Sai, and um, he put in a request, as well as someone else put in a request for how to um, how to get these to loft properly. So, uh, because Gav brought up the bonnet area, that's the bit I'm going to just sort of focus on here. And uh, I haven't seen this file before, so I'm working cold, as it were, so I haven't, didn't create these curves or any of this stuff. Um, but I can see, yeah, it's pretty good. We've got a duplicate curve there. I don't quite know why that's there, so I'll delete that out. Um, I'm just going to come into the outliner, because like I said, I haven't looked at this before, so I want to see what's going on. Okay, it looks like he's tried to do some uh, some lofts there, and they haven't they haven't worked. So I'm just going to select those lofts and just delete them out. Then I want to make sure that I'm working clean. So I'm going to come through all of these and just go to delete by type, and then the history on those. Right. Okay, so these are the curves that essentially I'm looking at. And uh, yeah, I can see a problem there. Right, okay, because we want to loft this bonnet over the top, we definitely want to make sure that all of our things are snapped and where we've got our curves, they're all going to work. So what I'm going to do is, because I've got a separate curve, he's cut these out really nicely, which is good. Um, obviously thinking ahead so that's good but um, these two curves here I'm going to make them one so I'm going to select both so I'm hold I'm selecting that and I'm holding a shift key and selecting this one and uh, now I'm going to what I'm going to do I'm going to press the space bar come down to edit curves and attach the curves okay so now that's one curve um, coming up over here to my curve shape and having a look how many spans I've got. I've got 14 there, so I want to make sure that, uh, as said in my main video, I'm going to make sure that these are the same. Ah, this is six spans. Well, that's not going to work. Need to be the same. Now, I'm not going to make this one six spans because it's got this dip in it, and it's quite a probably quite an accurate curve so I'm going to leave it at 14 but you could reduce it down if you wanted to but I'm going to leave it at 14 but I'm going to increase this one to 14 so we're on 6 at the moment here so I'm going to press the space bar and come to edit curves and come down to rebuild curve and in here I've already got 14 so I'm going to rebuild that so now that and that are the same this is 12 spans here 12 spans here that's fine okay so let's do our loft and see what happens um, I'm presuming nothing because Gav had problems and I'm sure that he would have attached those but uh, let's see what happens if I do my Birali curve so spacebar surface Birali, Birali 2, so I've got two rails. Okay, I'm going to select uh, this. I'm going to use these as the profiles. So I'm going to select, tells you down here, select the second curve, so select that one, and select the two rails. Okay, I unselected it, so let me just try that again. Uh, right select that middle mouse click surface Birali curve select that select that one the rail and the second rail okay nothing's happened but what's happened in the outliner is it will have created a surface you can see them down there so that normally indicates that you haven't snapped your curves. Now I know, Gav, that you said that you had, um, but let's have a look. Uh, well, that one's definitely not snapped and could be the cause of the problem. 
but I know people have been having troubles snapping these to to the curves and they are it's quite tricky so I'm going to show you a different technique in order to be able to do that if we right hand click and go to control vertex and then we hold the middle mouse button actually we need to go into move mode first we hold the C key yeah and middle mouse button and just drag along that curve it'll automatically snap so let me just do that again so what you need to do is you need to be in a move mode and you don't need to turn this on this is snap to curve that we generally use but we don't need to with this press the C key so there's a little round circle yeah then get the middle mouse button and drag it on this curve and just drag that down well that is locked to that curve so that should actually help a lot of you straight away um, that one's already locked there but we'll just test this one I'm sure this is okay but I'm gonna go through them all anyway just to be sure so again middle mouse button drag this down yeah and we'll come over here where I know there's a little bit of a problem because I had a look there um, that needs to hit here as it would on a car so we'll we might need to reposition this this one a little bit to keep that curve the same but I'm once again going to press the C key and snap it to there okay I know they're snapped to those curves now and if I come over here to this one and we do the same press the C key middle mouse button drag like that um, that's it they're all snapped onto the appropriate curve yeah snap them onto the wrong curve and the Borali won't work so let's do our old Borali now and uh, just select this one and I'm gonna go to I know it's up there but it's actually not working so um, surface Birali there okay so select this one next select this one and select this one and voila you have your surface so that middle mouse button technique is probably what you were lacking Gav because your curves all look pretty cool and uh, I'm sure they're fine just need to go and move some of this stuff into a better position so middle mouse click on this curve here yeah and you'll need to snap that one so I probably break it here cut it you know how to cut these curves and we can see that you've cut them already oh yeah you've done it there and there that's good so you definitely need to make sure that your spans are all the same yeah you've got three on there so you need to do a rebuild remember so three that's is that three let me double check it is three so we need to go to surface uh, sorry curves rebuild curves and this needs to be three as well. we'll just rebuild that okay so three three this one here this curve is 12 this curve is four so that needs to be rebuilt as well so I go to edit curve rebuild curve to was it 12 I think it was 12 yeah, 12, 12, 3 and 3 and obviously I need to check that these are correct so I'm middle mouse button holding the C that's fine that's overshot a little bit but that is the end um, control vertex on this C middle mouse I think I said to you before it can be a bit fiddly to get these to work but 
the C snap middle mouse button is um, quite effective. Control vertex. There. Okay. And we'll do the same. So, going to just select this curve, go to. What is it? A Birali 2 because you've only got two lines. Click that one, click that one, and click that one. And there we go. So, pretty speedy there. And of course you could go in and change these if you wanted to and it would change the appropriate patch. So hopefully that's explained um, that. Remember if you wanted to split one of these you could put a curve point in here and then you could go to edit curve and then cut the curve so to detach a curve you just need to put a curve point in or you can pick a control vertex and um, you just need to come down to edit curve and then detach curves and then you'll get two obviously to join them back up again you would go down to edit curve and then attach curves okay and also remember that if you detach and all those sort of things remember to rebuild your curves so they're nice and even and your curve rebuild settings um, can be adjusted as well so that is that I don't think there's anything else is there um, So uh, that's the bonnet and the side bit done really quickly. So I know Gav, I know you were saying that it could take you six months to finish this project, but if you um, use these methods, I'm sure that it's gonna be a lot quicker for you. Okay, cheers.